Aloha, family, friends, loved ones. Grateful for you all if you are on this page and seeing this video. My name is Kevin Orris, and in this video, I want to discuss the differences between dating versus courtship. And if you're like me, and many of you I know are calling in the one, right? And this was something before I met my partner, I was very much interested in. And what you have to realize is that when you're approaching dating, when you're sharing sexual energy, when you're sharing deep emotional, physiological, psychological energy with another human being, you're bonding and merging together, whether you want to or not, no matter how emotionally unavailable you are, or how avoidant your attachment style is, you're still bonding on the deepest level. And also, as we know, we attract what we are, okay? So it's be, do, have. You have to be it, then you can do the practices, then you can have the thing. And this is true for love, this is true for money, this is true for creativity, for business, etc. Therefore, the way I define dating versus courtship and my philosophy with my clients is very simple. Dating is exploratory. It is for someone who's finding out what they like. They don't or they may not have a fully yet clear vision of the container or type of relationship they want. So when they're dating, it's very about exploration. It's about taste testing. It's about getting experience. It's about meeting. It's about intimacy. It can still satisfy your core needs. It can still be rapturous and ecstatic. It can still be deep. It can be hard. It can be easy. And there's nothing wrong with dating. However, a lot of people will never leave the dating cycle and wonder why a, they're attracting the same partners or, to, or, you know, toxic patterns, getting their needs not met. Or B, they find themselves being treated by others, men or women, as a casual sexual partner. Now, why is that? Well, it's because you're treating yourself that way. And moving to courtship is a very powerful trend I'm noticing. Now, obviously, I'm doing this work, so I get the inside scoop on all these people um, every day through y'all when you share on my channels and when I'm behind the scenes working with clients, but I'm noticing more and more people are wanting courtship. Now, what's the difference? Courtship is very simple. It's about discernment and a clear purpose and vision of why you would date or why you would share sexual or emotional energy and time and money with another person. And it's very singular in its focus and goal. It's to create union. It's to create a compatible, loving partnership to the best of your ability. And that will immediately rule out a ton of people you would normally date or jump into bed with or tax late at night or spend a lot of time on dating apps, vetting or going on a bunch of dates with. Because if they're not also available for courtship and they also haven't met your criteria and you need to get clear on your criteria, what's your type? What do you want? What kind of dynamic do you want? How does the polarity work? How do you want to create love in your life? Knowing that your relationship, your intimate relationship will immediately correlate to your income and wealth, to your health, lifestyle, sleep patterns, well-being, your self-esteem, everything. It'll literally affect everything in your life. So it's not a trivial choice. And that's why courtship is so powerful. When you say no, when you set boundaries, when you become discerning around the people you're going to share this most precious, sacred life force energy with, suddenly the whole game changes. Suddenly you're a match and available for different caliber and a different league of partners. Now, obviously, it helps if you have a men or women's circle and a strong community. Also, it helps if you understand polarity and how to be in your masculine or feminine essence, depending on what your preferred is how to communicate in that way, how to lead or surrender in that way, and how to show up on dates that way. So this is extremely important. But who you're dating and courting, rather, will completely jump to another octave. And this is the magic I've seen with clients where within months of practicing this, suddenly they're a match for people they had no idea about, people they just met, or people they've always known that suddenly they've entered into a new phase in their relationship journey. And even if that relationship isn't the one and they don't you know, go off into the sunset on a romantic adventure together, it completely up levels their relating game. And that's the power of courtship. And that's why I recommend and teach it for those that are ready and willing to go on that path. For some, dating is where you're at and that's beautiful, enjoy it. For others, you're actually tired of dating. It's time to enter courtship. So. This is what I'm offering in my new program, Union. 
I have two options. I have a six week abridged version that's very much a quick start container for those that want to just get the down and dirty and execute quickly. And I also have a deeper VIP version that's four months. That's a lengthy mentorship that's gonna help you build the polarity practices, communication, get feedback and accountability on a full spectrum reset of your dating and relationship life. Everything from text calls, dating apps, even deeper to the inside job and work of preparing your vessel and energetically powering up to be partner material and to create divine union in your life, which in my experience is what 99% of people desire deep down. So if that's reaching out to you, if that's calling to you, I'd love for you to send me a DM with the word union and we can set you up with an interview. And I'm so grateful for all the people that comment and share on this page. I do read every comment and message. I may not always respond to everyone, but do know I see them. And I'm so grateful that so many of you are on this path as well of limitless love. So thank you so much. Share this video with someone that you feel like can really benefit from it. Tag someone in the comments if you think they need to hear this. See y'all soon.